old Bettina Akakoti is reporting to school together with her parents. She selected Accra Girls as a first choice where she intends to pursue home economics with the aspiration to become a nurse in future. Just like every other parent on reporting day, they have to endure this queue. But her father is concerned about the limited time to put resources together. These two weeks, the provision we bought for them, how are they going to use them? They will come back again to collect another provisions again. That is our headache. Some parents who said the reported are done brought out their frustration because they are still not being attended to. I've been following up since Wednesday. I was even here on Saturday. I came here today as early as 6.30 a.m., but I've still not been attended to. I don't know hey, 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 as you can see, so you people, you are here. As you can see, see you. So somebody will leave the house and come here. Me, I'm at Kaswa. Kaswa, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. There were those who took advantage to cash in. Accra Girl Senior High School had declared a 600 vacancy to the Free SHS Secretariat. The number could exceed despite limited resources. We should be given ample time to do all these groundworks. So that when we say we are starting classes, we know which classes they are going into. Assistant Headmaster Sebastian Akalinya Adama stated that with a limited time, the school can only provide orientation to students without effective academic work. They say we have to reopen today. Who are we to say no? We just have to do it and then hope that the reality will dawn on the powers that be. At St. Thomas Aquinas Senior High School, the process was relatively controlled. Eastern Regional Chairman of PTA, Joshua Tekpono, described this year's reopening for freshers as untimely and rushed, putting undue pressure on parents, students and teachers. I believe it has been a challenge because looking at the time the results were released, and the time for the reopening. We believe they could have given us some more time. This is a struggle parents are going through in order to enroll their wards into institutions they've been placed into. And this cuts across in other second cycle institutions across the country. Josh Quinn, TV3 News, Accra Girls.